Yeah, I, I don't understand the glossing it up. Like it's what they did with um, like the the remake. Oh my God, I'm my stutter. The remake of Psycho, how they made everything you know bright and Technicolor. Oh, and you're like, yeah. but if you are doing this shot for shot, but just making it, it making it all in color, you've just proved the film was perfect the way it was. Yeah. And, 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 and I don't know. There was, and, there was something about it I hated. Uh, th- that is that is something that I I, I genuinely just found so interesting because Gus Van Sant had just come off of Goodwill Hunting, and he could do anything in Hollywood. And the first thing he said is, "I want to remake Psycho shot for shot," and he did it as an experiment. And uh, Michael Haneke has done it as well with Funny Games, and they did it as a complete experiment to say, "Can you actually remake a film?" And you look at, like, how the Hitchcock, Psycho, and obviously Gus Van Sant's one is, obviously, you've got practically the same, it was exact same script and everything. And I think even the editor was talking about, like, how they were timing shots to be exactly like that, exactly the same. And they said they couldn't do it because of how the performances were different and, you know, obviously things like that. But it's just it's a weird experiment and i love that psycho the remake of psycho but as an as the experiment it is not as it's nowhere near as okay. good as the original yeah no no no. i'm controversial but um <laughs> you know i'm 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 not going there like it's it's a strange film but that's why i like it you know and that's where a lot of my taste comes in like things like that where it doesn't gel but I'm fascinated yeah. in thinking, right, how could it work? 